At first, uh, I am very happy with the acoustic of the room, because the most important thing for an organ is the acoustic of a church of a room, and very often it's difficult in a concert hall, because you have a lot of seats, and sometimes the acoustic is too dry, because at first it's for an orchestra. But here, it's special because you can move and change the acoustic if you play for orchestra or for other music and for organ. So it's a, spe a special acoustic for organ. So you, you feel free and cool, and I am very happy with that. And the organ has a good intonation for the room. The important for me is the, the equilibre between the room and the organ, and a lot of possibility on that organ to play a lot of music. Uh, many things changed at first when I arrived. When I was a, a student, I was uh, I, I visit very often Notre Dame Cathedral because the organist was Pierre Cochereau. He was my teacher too, too. And I cannot imagine at that time that one day I will be organist in that church. So it's a, 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 a large and important opportunity to be in that unique cathedral. And the organ is very special because the organ is the sound of the old French music. Because one part of that organ are very old from the 16th, 17th, 18th century and are preserved. So we have the sound of that time. We have also the sound of the organ of the 19th century. And we make some uh, addition to uh, have uh, many possibilities with that organ. Since the church burn, it's, it's not only complicated, but it's a very sad story because when you are organist in that kind of church, uh, it's difficult to be an organist in another one. <laughs> so, uh, at first, it was a big emotion for the, the whole world, as you see, and now we wait to come back in the cathedral. Normally, if everything is okay, we will reopen in the year 24 with the great organ and with the bells. The repertory, it depends on the organ. In my opinion, the chief is the organ every time. So when you have a French organ in France, you play mostly uh, French music. But I love also German music, all classical as Bach, Buxtehude. If you have the organ to practice that, it's ex extraordinary. And what is interesting on that organ here, that, that organ is very flexible and the sound is very good for French music. That's the reason I decide to play only French music for that circumstance. Ah, it's a very long story because the first organs arrived in churches around the 12th century. Uh, and at that time, there is no composer for organ, no scores, you cannot print. And the organist has only to improvise. The choir was downstairs and sing Gregorian chant, and the organist and the organ answer to the choir. It's like an alternance. That's the origin of the tradition of improvisation. And century after century, this tradition stay and grow up, because in the 19th century, Many organists, very famous composers in France, in Germany, uh, as César Franck in France, Max Reger in Germany, and other countries, was not only composer, but also improviser. So, in the 19th century, in the music schools, they have not only the organ repertory, but also the organ improvisation to maintain that tradition. And it's very important for the liturgy in the church because the organ can help the people to sing, to pray, 
and sometimes it's necessary to to have a commentary of the sermon and I think it's, it's very possible and it's a, 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 an opportunity for an organist to make that and to help the people with his music.